In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate the cotangent squared of x. So we have our integral there, and we're doing it with respect to x. Now, this integral isn't immediately straightforward. We have to use some identities to turn it into some things that are easier to work with. And the first step is to realize that the cotangent squared of x is simply equal to cos squared of x over sine squared of x. And this comes from the definition of the cotangent. So cotangent is simply 1 over tan. And tan is sine over cosine. So if we flip that upside down and square it, we end up with this result. So we're actually going to be doing this integration. And that's the first step of simplifying things. The second step is to use this identity here, the simple identity that your cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. And if we rearrange that, we can get an expression for cosine squared in terms of sine. So we're now going to be doing an integration that is entirely in terms of sine and simple numbers. So we can replace this expression here with this expression. So all I've done is simplify the cos squared to 1 minus sine squared. And this is actually simplifying because we're only in terms of sine. We can then take this expression here and we can split it up. So we're going to split the numerator in two. So all I've done is split up the numerator. And of course, sine squared over sine squared is going to give us one. So we actually have two integrations here. So the next step is to realize that 1 over sine squared is actually cosecant squared. So the cosecant is simply 1 over sine. So 1 over sine squared is going to be that squared. So we've now got a much nicer integration here. And you'll see why it's much nicer in a second. So you also need to realize another idea, that the derivative of the cotangent is minus cosecant squared. This is actually quite useful. So if we rearrange this to get cosecant, we're going to get something that we can substitute here. So let's rearrange that by simply multiplying both sides by minus 1 and swapping it around. So we can see that cosecant squared is actually just minus the derivative of the cotangent of x. This comes from this definition rearranged. So we've now got something that we can substitute in here. So we're going to substitute this in here. So we do the substitution there. All I have done is replaced the cosecant squared with our derivative definition here. And unsurprisingly, the integral of a derivative just cancels out. So we're actually left with this. So the integral and the derivative is cancelling out, leaving us with minus cot. And then we've just got minus 1 here. When you integrate minus 1 dx, that's giving you minus x. We just add in the constant integration. So we've actually solved it. The integral of the cotangent squared is simply minus cotangent minus x plus c. And that is our final answer. So hopefully this video is very helpful to you and you can now integrate the cotangent squared of x. Thank you very much for watching.